How's it going everybody? This is Cybervolt here and today is the dreaded day where I actually take apart an electric unicycle for the first time. I'm taking apart the veteran Sherman. I'm going to be taking off the off-road tire and I'm going to be replacing it with a Michelin Pilot Street 2 street tire. Heard many good things about this tire so let's go. Um, I'm going to timestamp everything in this video. I hope this is going to be instructive and informative for everybody. So go ahead and check out all the timestamps. Uh, make sure you follow me and subscribe. This is going to be fun, I think. <laughs> Every little piece and area of the wheel that I unscrew, like for example, trolley handle, battery case cover, I'm just going to put them in the plastic cup and I'm going to put a cover on it. And I'm just going to label it, you know, what it is. So for every step, we know what screw is what. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the screws from the trolley handle. There's two screws on this side, two screws on the other side. That comes out. This handle comes out. You can kind of feed this down a little bit. Press that down even further. There's that. Okay, so we're gonna take the control panel off now, uh, up here actually. So it looks like the screws are kind of on the small side. So you want a screwdriver that has maybe the, the sharp end, not the blunt end. And we're gonna get the screws off of that. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right, got another tool, got a knife. We'll see if that works. Trying to be very careful because I don't want to cut any wire that's in there. And I'm just gonna run my chisel. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put that there and use another chisel to, to kind of leverage it out. And I think that's going to work. There we go. All right. All right, so this is the control board right here. And on this side, this must be the, obviously the electronics for the control board. And this is, I would say, a beeper. So this is the beeper. We got the board off right here. I'm just gonna gently put this on the side. So orientation wise, this is the back and obviously this is the front. So this is what we have here. So I'm told you're supposed to take these uh, three off and get uh, this one off too. Uh, looks like that is siliconed to shit in there. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark our battery cables. So this is going to be L and I'm going to mark where it, where it disconnects as L as well. I'm going to do the same on this side, R, R, okay. So you can't really mistake that. Okay, so while I am doing this, I'm gonna mark my wires here. So this is gonna be A, B, C, A, B, C, I'm going to just mark it again, A, B, C, so A, B, C. There you go, so you unplug like that.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the control board and try to drain it from any power. And let's press it again just to make sure. Okay, so the board has been drained of power. So there's a plastic coating on these screws here. And we need to kind of probably tear those away. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna actually cover these batteries with electrical tape. Okay, do the other side. Okay, so I'm having an issue here with this screw. The screw is just not coming out. It seems like it was shredded to begin with when I first got it or first started on this. So it is pretty much impossible to screw off at this moment. I'll uh, keep you updated if I can get it out. Okay, so we were able to get this motor cable off. Uh, my neighbor actually suggested to use uh, the vice grips for stubborn uh, screws. So we actually were able to get it off. He actually helped me with that. So those are off. Now I'm gonna to try to get this cable off. I gotta get the this stuff off here so it can come off easy. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so these are the screws right here for the roll cage. All right, we're gonna do this side next. All right, let's try this. I got a, this block here. Found it in uh, my neighbor's garage. I saw Duff do this in this video, so let's try that. Oh, looks like we got this side out. We got, okay, we got it out. Okay, that's one side. Okay, we got that side out of the way. Okay, so that's all done. Whew, what a fabulous adventure this is. Not. So the next, the why we took out the roll cage is we're gonna be able to sit it on top of this five gallon bucket. I follow this guy on YouTube, his name is D, just D only. I'll put the links of all these channels that I learned all these things from. So you can reference that. So we're gonna attempt to do this, we're gonna flip it upside down, and then put it on to the, the bucket. Got that upside down onto the bucket. Okay, perfect. So that's gonna kind of double as our workstation right there uh, for taking out the motor. Neighbor's gonna be mowing the lawn, so. Okay, I thought there were four screws on each side. There's actually six. <laughs> so let me take this pedal off, these pedals off again, and uh, we'll be right back. Now as I'm taking these pedals off, I put these pedals on in the wrong way uh, for lifting this up on this bucket. But that's all right, it's no big deal. All right, I got all the pedals off. Um, so like I said, I gotta get the rest of these screws off here but d had mentioned to put the pedals on to help yourself lift it on the euc but i just lifted this up by the pedal hanger and that works fine too um, so you really don't need to go through that unnecessary step to take the pedals off and put them on and take them off and put them back on again um, just for leverage to lift it on this five gallon bucket so uh, let me finish taking these screws off and we're gonna attempt to lift this motor up and we're gonna do a tire change after, hopefully. Okay, got the last screw out. Six screws on each side for the motor. All right, so now, like I said, I have this belt here and I've already fed the wires out. Uh, you already saw that. So now we're gonna see, first of all, how bad it is um, just by manhandling it, see how it is. And it seems like I got all the screws, right? All right, so I got all of them out. 
So let's see if I can use my shoulder to help myself. There we go, okay. There we go, go on. Okay, motor's coming out. Let's feed one wire out at a time. Voila, we got the motor out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is deflate the tire. Okay, so I was off camera, sorry about that guys. Uh, I had a hard time taking this off. Um, I used these cheap Walmart brand slime tire thing, so I was able to get it off. Uh, my first time doing it. So, um, I don't know why, but the air was still in the tube. I thought I released all the air out. So I'm going to take it out, and I'm just going to inspect it, because I could have possibly pinched it doing this, because this is my first time. Okay, so right now I am squeezing out all the air from this inner tube. Because we are going to actually put this inner tube in a bag with some baby powder. All right, fighting with this GoPro all day. All right, so I got half a bottle of baby powder in there so far. I have this deflated stock veteran Sherman tube. I did not notice any pinches on there while taking off the tire. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm actually gonna put the cap on this. That'll be a good idea. Just in case, I don't want any of that baby powder going inside. So here we go. Take that. I'll put the link in the video of the gentleman that I was watching on how to avoid uh, pinched tires. So you can check that out for your own reference, but that's what I've learned. Okay, so I cleaned up the, the motor a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is take the street tire here. I'm gonna take the rest of this baby powder and I'm just gonna put the baby powder, rest of it right on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Uh, if you have birds, or maybe ferrets like I do. Uh, be careful doing this around them. If you're doing this inside, this is not gonna be good for those animals. Probably not for any animal, even for yourself, really. Um, just be careful, because it's very powdery. And I think we got enough there. I think we got it all. So after that's done, we're just gonna rotate the tire very slowly and get all that baby powder right in that wheel. That's gonna help. That's gonna help the, what am I saying? That's gonna help the tube move around in the tire um, when you're seating it. Hope I'm saying it correctly. So I think we are ready to put I think we're ready to put the tube into the tire. Uh-oh. Where did I put the cap? Okay, so I was filming some stuff and I wasn't in the shot, but basically, make sure I got it all correct here, is I got baby powder on the tube. I pumped up the tube a little bit, fit it inside the tire. Um, I'm lining up the orientation of the tire Taking a little bit of time, I'm gonna go with my gut instinct. I haven't gotten the answers that I needed, but the, the, the front of the tire is this way. The motor, when I marked it, is going this way. It's going front this way, okay? Because I have it marked. Now, this is what the front of this tread looks like. As you notice, it's kind of arrowed in the way, right? But front is this way, according to the tire which is kind of weird. 
So I think we're just gonna go with our gut instinct and just follow through with it. And, um, you know, hopefully we can do this for the best. Um, all right, so what we need to do is line up um, the inner tube nozzle here into the rim. There's a little hole there. And you wanna have it facing pointing uh, motor cable side. Okay, come on inner tube, get in there. My ass is hanging out again. Uh, okay, so I have the nozzle in. Now I'm gonna use these tire spoons to help get it, get this on the rim somehow. Come on, I just gotta get it, get one side on. And I think we have it partially in. Not easy, especially if this is your first time, guys. And I don't even—I don't even think I have that side in correctly either. Okay, so with my neighbor's help, uh, he was able to help me get the the tire on. Uh, these spoons are really hard for the last part of the putting on the tire. So right now, I am putting on some. Armo Dillo's Bead Buddy. That's what actually I used to get the last lip of the tire onto the rim, and it helps a whole lot. So it's kind of like an oily, greasy substance, but I'm gonna put a good amount around the rim and the tire, both sides. Okay, so right now I am looking for making sure this tire is gonna be centered correctly. So that's what I am looking for. Um, looks like this side needs to be pushed in just a little bit. This side's kind of raised up too high. So we're gonna push that in. Hmm. Trying to figure out why this isn't popping. PS is at fifty six. Seems like it's on there good. So, okay, so here comes the fun part, putting this bad boy back together again. started this little project at 8 o'clock. It is 3 o'clock right now. Oh yes. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than I was hoping. I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I'm gonna sh just talk about that real quickly before we turn the power on. Uh, first of all, the motor cables weren't threaded through uh, the hole and they weren't threaded through the hole all the way and they weren't reaching the motherboard and they were bunched up near where the, the pedal hangers meet uh, you know the whole case and i took this apart four times guys um, cranking and cranking with my screwdriver i was getting really really pissed um, i've also stripped the wires some of the wires uh, for the motor cables Okay, so this is Frankenstein right now. So, I have these, so as I was screwing this in, uh, some of the wires were bunched up here. It was raising up this area here. So as I was screwing, um, there was obviously more s screw length to go, 
but it was stopping and it was cracking around here. So I cracked this area here, guys. Um, I put some silicone in there. I don't think that's going to do any good. I'm going to see how it rides with that screw being the way it is. I mean, it's screwed in, but it's not meeting the, the shell here. So I run the risk of having that be loose and not getting stability. Uh, but I have everything threaded in. Uh, I'm going to put the case on now. And I'm also going to put the pedals at the same time. I'm also going to... I'm also going to clean uh, with an air blower here, duster, electric duster. But, Good luck, Jamie. I know, I'm, I think I'm almost done. I made a lot of mistakes, so that's why it's taking long. Well, that's how you learn, right? That's the way it is, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Bryce, Jeez. you've been at that thing all day. Oh, since morning time, man. Yeah. Okay, here's to hoping all this will work. By the time we're done, I've learned a lot today. I've even did a very immature thing today. I got so frustrated um, talking about this stuff in my Telegram group. And uh, in a fit of rage, I was like, fuck this. All right, so I am on the other side. I'm just finishing up, putting on this cover. Over here is the front, and this is the back, all right? So, let's just double check this. So, this has to go in here. This is your this is your one, this is your two, and your three. So, when you're taking apart the wheel, you need just to remove these four wires, okay? Three of them are screwed in, and the other one pulls right out. This one is green, blue, and... I forgot already what that is, yellow. So here we go, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna make sure this power is on. So let's connect the right to the right. Plugged in. The next side. The left to the left and I mark these beforehand if by chance the markings run off okay so you're on the left side of the EUC right now you're gonna see that um, these two wires on the left is for the left and these two wires on the right are for the right and the left comes out from the left side and the right comes out from the right side. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Okay, no sparks. That's good. Let's see if it turns on through the LCD screen. Here we go, let's give it a let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Ready? One, two, three. And it's on. Oh. Okay. That electric unicycle is on, guys. Yeah. Okay, so what I did was I, I stuffed the wires. Just make sure that they won't be pinched. And it looks like I just want to double check. Everything seems like it's fine. Um I might do a touch up maybe another time on the on the connectors here, but it seems like it's okay. Uh, I'm not seeing anything frayed. So here we go. GoPro stop recording. Okay, trolley handle time. So all that's gonna consist of uh it's really easy actually. There's these rods. There are these rods here and they have these little pushers, both one on each side. Just drop them right in. And then what we're going to do is kind of push down and then pull up. Okay. And then it's kind of hard sometimes when, when the EUC doesn't balance. So I'm just going to leave the machine off for right now. 
but on the bottom there are these little grooves here you just fit the rods right in there um, I think it might matter which way you put it in and angles oh, it doesn't I don't think it really matters so having a hard time going up try it again Okay, so that's not ideal there. It goes in, but has a hard time popping out. Temperature is at 95. Okay, so let's do a spin test real quick. Make sure this thing is running true. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. All right. Okay, so we're gonna see how it feels. I just wanna make sure everything is in the right. Oh, not balancing. There we go. That was weird. All right, so let's make sure that it's balanced. Ooh, this feels weird. Let's give it a, a good test here. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So we're gonna have to do a testing ride video. Uh, I'm just gonna go up and down one more time. Uh, matter of fact, let me do this. Let me do this, guys. If the tire is running true, Hello. It runs true. Nice. Nice. Feels like it's running true. I just take this tire out. Okay. Okay, so our next video guys is going to be doing a test. Um, I think this is good for today. So if you have any questions, make sure you like and subscribe. I worked hard on this one guys, I really did. <laughs> Peace out.